Hi, this is Seth Miller, and this is the January installment of the Innocence Project of Florida video blog. Today we're going to be talking about uh, uh, three separate things. Uh, as you know, probably, if you live in Florida, uh, it is the beginning of our legislative session. Uh, by the time you see this, the legislature will have started, and we have an early legislative session this year. Uh, beginning in January and ending 60 days later in March. While the legislative session is going to mostly focus on uh, congressional and uh, state level redistricting, uh, as they do after every uh, census, um, they'll be working on a number of other issues, including some issues that uh, you know, affect uh, criminal justice work and the work we do here at the Innocence Project of Florida. Um, two issues that they will be uh, dealing with deal with the death penalty, and there are some important bills that we'd like to tell you about. Um, the first bill deals with how juries decide whether they're going to give a death sentence in a capital case. Now, Florida has the unfortunate distinction of being the only state that doesn't require a unanimous jury verdict to give a death sentence. So in Florida, once someone has been convicted of a capital crime, uh, those 12 jurors can decide by a mere vote of 7 to 5 that they want to give a death sentence. This is out of step with every other state in the United States and frankly it means that a number of people who shouldn't get the death penalty get the death penalty here in Florida. Now three legislators have sponsored uh, bills that are slightly different that will likely be conformed during the legislative session to change this rule to require juries who are giving um, a, or want to give a death sentence require them to do it unanimously which would bring us in step with every other state. Now in the Senate, uh, Senator Thad Altman is sponsoring Senate Bill 772, which would do this. Um, Senator Brainin is sponsoring Senate Bill 352. And in the House, Senator Julian uh, is sponsoring House Bill 29. Uh, these are great bills. Again, we have a bill in the House side and the Senate side. Um, these are bills that can uh, really change the way uh, we uh, do capital administration of death penalty and capital punishment here in Florida and can again bring us in line with the way every other state does it and make our criminal justice system uh, more fair. Um, so we'd hope that uh, regardless how you feel about the death penalty, we hope that all of our supporters would support um, these really important bills and uh, call your legislators and ask them to move them uh, towards passage this legislative session. Um, additionally, um, our good friend here in Tallahassee, Representative uh, Michelle Raven Covasalinda, is sponsoring House Bill 4051, and this bill would actually just get rid of the death penalty here in Florida. Um, we would no longer have the death penalty. Um, it, that means that for first degree murders, those folks um, would never be able to get out of prison if they were convicted. They would have to spend life in prison without parole, but they would not be able to be executed. Um, the Innocence Project of Florida doesn't take a position per se on the death penalty, but we do believe that there are sufficient flaws in the criminal justice system that when we uh, decide that we're going to have a system where we execute people, there's too much risk of executing an innocent person. And given that risk, uh, we'd be supportive of uh, Representative Rebo Covasa Linda's bill. And we hope that uh, all those who care about uh, making sure that we get it right in our criminal justice system and that uh, when we execute people, we um, you know, have a chance to get it wrong and not be able to fix it. We'd hope that all people would uh, support uh, Representative Rebo Covasa Linda's bill and uh, hopefully it passes this legislative session. Now as we move forward in the session in future video blogs and on our website and on our uh, plain error blog we'll give you updates about these and other bills and what you can do if anything to help uh, their passage. Now we have two events coming up that we told you about last uh, video blog before the holidays um, that we would hope that you'll be able to join us. Um, the first is uh, in this January, January 19th, 2012 um, from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 4 o'clock in the afternoon at the Selby Library in Sarasota, Florida. Um, I'll be speaking there with uh, exoneree Alan Kratzer and we'll be talking about the work of the Innocence Project, specifically focusing on Alan's story of how he got wrongfully convicted and his struggle to be freed and to transition back into society. It's going to be a great event and for those of you who are in that area, um, we hope that you would join us on that day to support our work and learn more about it. And on April 26, 2012, the Innocence Project of Florida is having our first annual gala uh, called Stepping Out with the Innocence Project of Florida. 
will take place at the Four Seasons Hotel in Miami, Florida. Um, we have a great program um, that evening. Um, we have Larry Marshall, who is the uh, uh, co or is the founder of the Center of Wrongful Convictions in Chicago and current dean at Stanford Law School, who will be our featured keynote speaker. We'll be honoring a number of important people uh, who have uh, you know, done so much work for the innocence community and uh, uh, criminal justice reform and uh, helping indigent people in general. And uh, we're going to have a great performance uh, by uh, William Michael Dillon, one of our exonerees, who will be playing his music that he's written about his struggles with wrongful incarceration for all those who attend. Um, but most importantly, we're going to be honoring all of our clients, all of our exonerees who spent over 250 years in prison for crimes they didn't commit. And uh, again, it's going to be a great night um, where we all get to get dressed up, enjoy good food and um, uh, good company, and uh, support the work of the Innocence Project of Florida so we can continue to do our work in the coming years. Again, if you are interested in following what we're doing, uh, you can go to our website and also to our blog, Plain Error, where you can take part in a running conversation about criminal justice issues and innocence issues more uh, specifically. And if you'd like to contribute um, uh, to the work we're doing financially, you can go to our website and on the navigation bar there is a, uh, a button that you can push to do that and uh, we'd be very happy to have your support. Um, it goes directly to our work and helping um, those who are in prison who are innocent to be freed from their wrongful incarceration. Uh, so with that, we'll leave you till next month and we hope you have a good January. Thanks.